Right as a story about a dude who gets lost in his own apartment, but he was so tired that he made a halt in the corridor. I was cast down, like a fallen angel spreading its wings fell into the firmament of reality. This is a curse and a punishment for choosing my path, and I must bear this cross. Well, I loaded it. How hard. I'm tired of wandering in the labyrinth of everyday life. Dust of the past. Forgotten things that you never dared to throw away. And that sound. It gets louder. It seems to surround me everywhere and never let go. Voice. Nasty and hair cutting. Everywhere I turned, it got louder. When are you going to die, you damn drunk head? Threw up the whole apartment! The wife shouted. Return drunk sleep in the hallway. Why are you wandering around the apartment? They say I'm not very smart, ignorant and lazy. It's a shame to hear this. Now I'm laying on the floor in the hallway of the apartment where I lived all my life. And I understand two things. I don't know how to get out of here. And there, everything they say about me is true. When I went to the kitchen, I love to eat very much, but the door slammed, shut, and I got stuck. I have no idea what to do next. Maybe if I scratch like this, the door will open. Come on, a little more. Thanks heaven, I'm saved. John appeared outside the door with a newspaper in his hand. Dude, you are my hero, I shot to him. You are ruining the door again, you flea farm. Let me get to you. I've been wandering around this damned apartment for the fourth hour and could not find a way out. The devil pulled me to buy it. And all because I bought into their advertising booklet. Exclusive high-tech fan shoe design from lead architect Samuel Baldini. By the way, this Baldini built only three such apartments, after which he disappeared without a trace six months ago, <laughs> naturally, so the furious owners of this labyrinth do not stuff his designer's face. I was tired and made a halt right in the corridor. Suddenly, I heard a faint voice behind the wall. Hey, is anyone here? And who are you? My name is Samuel Baldini. You don't know how to get out of here? Steven was a very thoughtful person. He loved to walk and think. He could go into his head and without noticing went on the other side of the city. Oh yeah, I must clarify that he was a writer. And sometimes goes too deeply into the story. And now Steven was wandering around the apartment thinking about the plot about Space Cat and Red Sneakers on the Moon. So he walked through the kitchen, came up with a plot, then out to the corridor, came up with a climax. Step by step, thoughts forms into a story. Denouement, he exclaimed and looked around. Uh, where I am? On the moon, said the cat astronaut in the red sneakers. Steven was too deeply lost in his thoughts that he got lost in the corridor and without realizing it, found himself in his own story. Find me! Her voice boomed. Yes, where are you? I ran around the apartment looking for my little monkey. This time she hid very well. Why does she always immediately find me and I can look for her for hours? And now she's stuck into a hole. I hear it, but I can't find it. I got lost and sat down in the hallway, need to rest. Are you looking for me? Monkey's voice was getting weaker. I took out a magic cigarette, which a familiar dealer had fitted for me. I lit cigarette and calmly spread throughout my body. I'm tired of waiting, breathed voice quite near. Yeah, got it. I pulled the monkey out of my winter jacket pocket. She taught me off with all 12 tentacles and laughed merrily like a ringing bell.
Avon brought Billy to her father and immediately went to the Christmas party. What are we going to do, snowed little face of yours? Grandfather cheerfully pitched Billy on a cheek. Let's play hide and seek, he squealed happily. Grandpa chuckled. Yes, I served in intelligence. Koreans were looking for me in the 53rd for two months. Hide, Grandpa! Come on, Brad, look for me! Billy covered his face with his hands and counted to ten. Found. Boy broke the wall in the corridor with a sledgehammer. Dust rose to the ceiling. Repair is not an easy task. Billy, what is it? His wife pointed in horror in the skeleton emerged in the wall. Grandfather, once we began to play hide and seek and no one ever saw him. Excuse me, are you exit next? Came from the closet. What's the next one? Fridge? No, what are you talking about? Next balcony, final. How come it is the end? But I need to get to the kitchen. Ooh, so you sat in the wrong closet. Ouch, how so? And what should I do? Well, you need to get to the final one, then two blocks along the bathroom, you wait for the nearest flush of the toilet, and there you have 20 minutes by foot. Ooh, how long? Otherwise, you can land out here and wait for the last closet, the conductor broke in. Yes, I'd better get out. Ask the driver to stop. The hum of brakes, the cabinet doors open, the man goes out into the corridor. Ugh, it's dark, it's, it's a dysfunctional area. However, hope I wouldn't get lost. Carl set up the tent, needed the fire. He trimmed a branch, now they can fry marshmallows and tell horror stories. It's a pity that the sons are already adults. They look at their old man with sorrow, but he deserved his vacation. Well, the fact that they are a little lost is even more fun. It's dangerous to set fire in the corridor, muttered the taller one. I've been planning a trip for a long time. No virus and self-isolation will ruin our vacation. Where's your fantasy, boys? Carl chuckled. Maybe we can say that one of the symptoms of the virus is hallucinations and we are not his sons, the shorter one asked cautiously. No, let's wait for the orderlies. Did you see how deftly he broke out the leg of the chair and put a cat on it? Carl smiled cheerfully. Marshmallow almost ready! A man got lost in the corridor, but he was so tired of looking for a way out that he lay down on the floor. It was the corridor of his house, where he had lived for a long time. The most common one. No secret doors, no fantasy, shabby walls, dusty ceiling and cold floor. But he still got lost. He was a very sad and lonely man, often argued with others. He was not evil. He just quarreled with himself once, and he didn't get along with others either. And in fact, does he really need to look for a way out of the corridor? It is empty and dark here, as in his soul. Man first got lost in himself, and only then in his damned corridor. Max, where are you? What's happening? They told me that this apartment had a bad reputation. Just a week here and you're welcome. There's some kind of game. I propped the walls. Called. Something is buzzing downstairs. I still never get bed in the new apartment. Strange. The room seems to have shrink. Terrified, I run the other way. Another wall. What the hell? How could I get lost in my own hallway? Max, come here! Suddenly, I felt breath on the back of the head. What are you doing? asked the unfamiliar voice. I screamed heart reddenly and began to swing my fists, but there was no one around. <sighs> Some kind of drug addict, the old woman grumbled as she stepped out of the elevator. Granny, this is our new neighbor. He's blind. Apparently, he got lost without his guide dog. Let us know which story you liked the most in the comments down below. And also send us new themes for 100 word stories. Don't forget to subscribe and click the thumb button.